This song, this song is called, is called Oval, Oval Migration. migration.
Surrounded 
Hi everyone, I'm Andy. Welcome to Anfam Studios. We're here with Roller Coaster Water. Hello. Hi guys, thank you guys so much for being here. You guys seriously rock that set. Well, thank you so much. Here. Yeah, thanks. Amazing. And the visual. Thanks for having us. Brian is behind the scenes Brian over there. Brian Murphy is the visual projectionist. All the us. visuals you guys saw. That's all that guy. Yeah. Which you can't <laughs> see. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, uh, I mean, Roller Coaster Water. Roller Coaster Water. The name um, stemmed from this really intense salvia experience that I had when I was in high school. It was, I, I, I'd never done like any kind of drugs or anything. I never drank, I drank a beer or anything yet. And um, I tried salvia because it's, it's legal in California. Um, I like did it and like, I didn't know, I've never smoked anything. It like didn't work. Like I didn't, wasn't inhaling it right. And so I like tried and tried and then it all hit me like a wall. And I was instantly like transported to like this really crazy, um, place where all the walls became like uh, rippling like the paintings in Super Mario 64 when you jump into the paintings in Super Mario 64 that happened to all the walls and my face like exploded out of the front of my head like my consciousness like exploded out of my face and like started doing loop -de loops around the room and like it was it was so much at once it, it was so strong I, I don't know why it's legal but um, <laughs> One thing I noticed, I listen to you guys' tracks online, which I really love. Thank you. Thank you so much. Like, hearing those tracks and then seeing it live is just a completely different experience. Yeah, totally. So, like, like, how, like, I guess, what's the process of taking what you have recorded and then performing it live? Because I see you guys, you guys add a lot of stuff. There's yeah. a lot more noise. A yeah, lot more. definitely. Well, the thing that's kind mm -hmm. of interesting is, like, the way we we have it set up right now for live. And we were talking about this, actually, just when we went outside. But, like... There's so many things that can dictate how the entire song is going to sound just by like one change, you know, like just looping one part. If he plays it a little bit differently, mm -hmm. that's how the entire song, song is right. going to sound. You know, like we can't, especially live, like it's like we can go back and like, oh, wait, wait, let's fix this. Mm -hmm. Like it's kind of just like roll with it. And it's like that's where the experiment comes, you know. And with, with electronic music, there's this like fine balance that we're learning as we become more modern and more modern where it's like, with electronic music, you have to have these elements of like, of confusion and chaos and like change essentially, or else it's not going to like be important live. Yeah, you know, yeah. you can't just press play just because we're sampling. Right, you, know? you can't just sample it and let it go. And that's yeah. that's what I find really impressive too is that I see you guys. You guys are sampling a lot of stuff, but you guys are just free flowing. Like you guys aren't in in with a click track like a lot of people are. Mm -hmm. Like that's what's really cool, and it kind of makes it more organic. Which oh, I thank appreciate you. That. Um, yeah, I mean, I think a huge part of the experimental component to our sound and to most experimental, not just music, but art, is that we don't exactly know how it's going to sound mm -hmm. before we, we do it. We just kind of create a set of instructions that we stick to, yeah. and then whatever comes from that um, is what it is. So it's like this kind of ever-evolving thing. And so because of that, every performance is going to be different. Every um, you know, live session that we do, every jam session is going to be slightly different, but it's just this set of instructions that we create. Do you guys have anything coming up? Like, you guys working on any material? Yeah, we just um, released uh, an EP called Zooming Into an Octagon Flavored Sugar Crystal. Um, That's a hell of a It's a mouthful. <laughs> it's a mouthful. <laughs> Try but, um, saying that five times. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but, um, and that, it's very, uh, it's kind of electronic and it's um, very pop. It's one of the mo most pop things I've, I've made, I think, um, or we've made together, but our next EP is going to be the sequel to it and it's gonna kind of be this. Wait, what's the title again? It, the, the next EP is gonna be called Zooming Out of an Umami um, Sounding Fireball. So, zooming into an octagon flavored sugar crystal, zooming out of an umami sounding fireball. Zooming out of an umami um, sounding fireball is going to be, it's a lot more live, um, acoustic, um, electric, electric guitar, but um, yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a, a very different, but the, again, the songwriting is still gonna be there. And we could do some of the old stuff in the style of the next EP, which is gonna be very, it's gonna be more of like a, um, Psychedelic rock. Yeah, we're the rock side. Mm. I mean, the biggest thing for me is like that I have to focus on with this next one is acoustic drums. Yeah, that's so gonna be really. Exciting. That's the first time. I mean, 
Now, I've been I've been playing drums for a really long time now. Um, only electronically very recent. Like the setup I have now, I've been working with for a year. But like, so I'll have to find a way, and I have been, but to integrate both of those. Yeah. You know, electronic drums and acoustic drums. Um, yeah. And so that's for me. That's that's, that's the how goal. I see the new EP. I like, guess the biggest yeah. thing for me. That's the goal. Have like a release date for that? Or? Um. Yeah. Hope before the end of this year. Okay. We're gonna record it, and we're we've written almost all of it. Mm -hmm. I have nothing left to ask. Awesome. Thank you guys so much for coming. I really thank enjoyed you so it. much. Thank you, Brian, for the visuals. Thanks, Brian yeah. Murphy. Brian. And um, we just want to say thanks to Anfam for cool. being an incredible artist collective. Uh, super amazing, awesome thank stuff. You. You guys, please make sure to subscribe. Uh, look in the description for below. You guys can follow Real Coaster Water, follow us on Tumblr, follow us on Get on our Snapchat, Instagram. We'll be updating you on all their releases and we'll have all the links in the description. Thank you. Thank you.